Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been two weeks since I posted a video. I apologize for that, things have been crazy. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff around here that's not really worth filming, I guess you could say, just sweeping bins and it's been really hot recently and uh, we've been doing a lot of other stuff. So, today's plan. Uh, we are going to get this Ford FW30 out to the field. We spent the last uh, a couple hours in the last uh, two days or so and we got ready this eight bottom plow and did some work to it, replaced some lines and some bolts and it should be ready to go. We're not sure how it's, how this Ford's gonna handle it but uh, you're gonna find out the same time we do. So uh, before we get to that though, we're taking the 4960 down to a property right down the road where we store our bigger plows and we're gonna drag home the 12 bottom and get it ready for Rantoul. We still have, what, a month and a half until Rantoul-ish. So we've got a little bit of time, but I think he wants to paint it before we take it up there. So uh, that will be pulled by our versatile 1150 Custom. So um, let's head down there, we'll grab that plow, get it home, and then we'll take out this Ford. I guess the AC doesn't work. I don't know if you can see it, but he kicked his door open. So I guess he was getting hot. Okay, now it sounds like we're going to take the six bottom plow that we use on the 5020 Detroit, and we're gonna uh, get that back home so we can we can spray it too before Rantoul. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that down there, and we'll get everything home. We actually had a blown tire on the uh, uh, 12 bottom plow, so we had to come back anyway to get a replacement. So we'll get this out and head down there. Got some rain coming in. You guys can probably see it over there. We better make this quick. Yeah, we're about to get dumped on.
Okay, so it's probably a little hard seeing. Switch this back up. So it was probably a little hard to see, and now I can't really show you because it's downpouring, but uh, <clears throat> that plow is doing an okay job. It's not near deep enough to really get a feel for that tractor, but this field that we're in right now was a older alfalfa field that we went ahead and put in oats this year to kill the rest of the alfalfa off, and then we're going to put it back in alfalfa next year. But this is kind of our, our testing grounds this year for Rantoul because we don't really have another place to test our plows. So we don't want to use up all of our space um, with, the, with this plow the way it's acting right now and now we got rain. So um, we will definitely be back out here at some point and I'll be sure to film for you guys. Um, <clears throat> what else? <clears throat> another problem that we had with that plow originally, two days ago we started working on that plow to get it ready for today and there are pipes on the back of the plow that control your tail wheel and how it turns with the tractor. And when we got to the plow a couple days ago, those were all unhooked. So we were kind of blind as, as to how they all got set up, but we looked at a couple different other plows and got all that to work. And that was a little bit of a struggle, but we got that. And uh, yeah, so that's probably gonna be it for this one. And we've got a really big day tomorrow. We're going to pick up a tractor I'm not going to say what it is yet, um, but it's probably the coolest thing we've ever picked up. So be sure to stick around for that. That'll probably come out maybe Wednesday or Thursday, and I'll see you on the next one.